I accomplished um, getting a broadcast and operational meteorology degree from Mississippi State. And this has been something that I've been working on since January of 2021. So before I even came to News Channel 13, this was something that I had been working on. Um, and the plan this entire time has been to anchor, get my meteorology degree so I can be a meteorologist as well. It's been a really busy two and a half years. <laughs> um, working full time, working on school, it's been a lot of my free time has been doing this online program. I work on school during the day, I come to work at night, and then rinse and repeat the next day. So I'm very glad to be over because I'll have a life. I can have hobbies and live fit life and do things. Um, but yeah, so it's been a lot. It's been a very hectic time, but I knew that going in. I knew that it would be a lot and I just had to put my head down and get through it. And I'm really glad that I did it, but I'm also really glad to be done. <laughs> When I worked in Medford, Oregon, which was my first market, fresh out of journalism school at TCU, I hadn't really thought about a meteorology degree, but working in Medford, we covered a lot of wildfires and wildfires that were right in our backyards. As I anchored, I listened to the meteorologists talk about the weather impacting the fires a lot. And I found that really interesting and how that impacted the uh, the fire crews and expanding out, you know, the weather affects the wineries out there and kind of everyday life. But the fires are really interesting to me because uh, it made a big difference. And that was the first time I was sort of like, huh, interesting. So I snooped around a little bit. I found this program through MSU. Um, turned out one of the meteorologists across the street at a different station was doing the program at that point. So I reached out to him and said like, hey, just tell me how this works. And he explained it to me and I just sort of stuck it in my back pocket. Fast forward a couple of years, I'm now in Nashville and we're in the middle of the pandemic and journalists were being laid off and loan payments were deferred. And I was like, you know, if I'm gonna do this, this is a really good time to do this. And so I was like, what the heck, right? Let's, let's do it. I've thought about it for now several years. The timing is right, let's just do it. And so I started it um, with, you know, every intention of getting to where I am today, didn't know it would be here. I didn't even know about this station at the time. Started doing the program, really enjoyed it. My contract in Nashville came to an end. Mike reached out to me and he said, hey, I'm looking for someone who can anchor, do weather, and do special projects. And I was like, that's exactly what I'm looking for. But I had to have the degree. That was an important part of the job kind of qualifications. And so I said to him, well, I'm pursuing this right now. I'll be done uh, in 2023 and uh, it all worked out. Something that I have really focused on, even as I was doing the weather while I was getting my degree, um, was being able to tell a weather story. So I can tell you like, hey, it's gonna rain at this time or show you a model, but what does that mean in the story of the day? Or let's say that there's a major snowstorm, for example, and we have all of these school closings happening. Well, we can, tell you, okay, here's all these school closings, here's why that's happening. And I think knowing the weather and the, having the weather knowledge makes me a better journalist because I can add an element of maybe a news story that has a weather element to it that maybe wouldn't otherwise be added. And so I think it makes me a more well-rounded journalist and meteorologist having the BA in journalism from TCU and the BS um, from Mississippi State is they complement each other and they balance each other out and they add depth to both the news gathering element and the weather side of things. Um, so it's been a really fun balance. I like that weather is like a giant puzzle. And if you know how to read the language of the atmosphere, you can tell what's going to happen a lot of the time, which I think is, in, it's amazing. It's art. I mean, it's science obviously, but it's art too. A lot of my professors have really stressed too that meteorology takes time to learn. Just because you have a degree doesn't mean you're an expert in it. And meteorology is also a science that is so complicated. Like the atmosphere is so complicated that we don't even have the technology to perfectly say what's going to happen at any given moment, right? So it's an ever evolving science. It's an art as much as it is a science. It's beautiful. I like the puzzle of saying, okay, well, this says this, this says this, what does that mean together? And I like 
learning continuously. Like Paul will say stuff on air sometimes or behind the scenes when I'm talking to him and he'll say stuff and I'm like, oh, and then another piece of the puzzle clicks into place. And that's just, it's really fun. This area is interesting because we get a little bit of the lake effect snow, not as much as, you know, cities further west. So we get the snow, we get the rain showers, we've had tornado warnings this season, which is something that I don't think we had last season. We get a lot of variety, which I enjoy. I also enjoy that we don't have fire weather, <laughs> even though that's something that I was interested in initially and what got me sort of hooked on this program. Weather impacts everybody, no matter who you are. It's important to give people information that is timely, relevant, in an entertaining way. That's not entertainment, those are two different things, and that's no different than news, right? So it's the same elements, but two different worlds. I am still going to be anchoring News Channel 13 Live at 5, 5.30, 9, and 11. I will be doing weather as well on News Channel 13 Live at 9, Monday through Friday. And then Winnie will be at 11 o'clock. And then on her off days, uh, which are Thursday, Friday, I will be doing the 11 o'clock weather as well. Occasionally I'll be doing weather on the 150 block, the 456, um, as needed when Paul and Reed are unavailable or on vacation or whatever. Um, so I'll be popping up more and more.